Salve te omnes, let's continue with the Aeneid, Book 2. Tempus erat quo prima quies mortalibus aegris, incipit et dono divum gratissima serpit, insomnis, eccant oculos, maestissimus hector, visus adesse mihi largos que fundere fletus, raptatus pigis ut quondam aterque cruento pulvere perque Pedes trajectus lora tumentes. It was the time. Tempus erat. Quo. At which, or when. Prima quies. First sleep. Very pleasing. Begins for mortal, for sick mortals. I grease. Tired, worn out, sick. So when, when first rest, very pleasing, begins for sick mortals, and it creeps with a gift of the gods. If I were to classify this ablative, I would say perhaps it's an ablative of description, as it is possibly describing sleep, or it could also be describing the gift being the dream that Aeneas is about to receive. It's something to think about. Insomnis, literally in sleeps, but you can extend it, extend it to mean in dreams. Eke, behold, ante oculos, before my eyes, maestissimus hector. Notice this is the superlative form of the verb. Very sad Hector. Not just sad Hector. We got that issimus in there. Very sad Hector. And now you have to imply an est here. Visus est. Here's our verb. Visus est. That is the perfect active um, third person singular verb. Very sad Hector. Appeared. And we have an indirect statement. Notice that. He appeared. And then we have infinitive. He appeared to have been there for me and to pour out huge tears. Having been snatched up by the chariots as at a certain time in black with bloody dust and having been pierced with leather straps through his swelling feet. So, this is Aeneas seeing Hector in a dream, but the dream is special. It's more like a vision, and it's going to give him a sort of prophecy and warning. And he's seeing Hector ut quondam, as if at a certain time. So he's saying he's seeing Hector as if he were black with bloody dust and having been pierced through with lora, with leather straps, per pedes, through his swollen feet. So this is all referring to whenever Hector, after Achilles had slain him in battle, he attached the body of Hector to the back of his chariot, and then Achilles dragged Hector's body around the walls of Troy three times. Just, you know, destroying the corpse, making it covered with bloody dust. And obviously he had to strap the feet to the chariot with leather straps. You'll notice down here that this construction is a little bit difficult. The trajectus lora, because you would expect this to be ablative, but it is accusative plural. That is because Virgil is mimicking a sort of Greek um, participle. It's a little fancy, and it doesn't really translate super well. So you just, the best way to translate is pretend that this is ablative because there's not a better way to do it. And let's see, again, this is all referencing that Aeneas sees Hector as if he was just dragged around the walls of Troy by Achilles. That's what the ut quondam is referring to. And Hector is maestissimus. He's very sad, very grim. He's horrible to look at with all of this, and he's got huge tears coming out of his eyes. Very sad. 
and we have this Ecke here, this behold. It's really drawing attention to Hector, right? And saying that this is a big deal. 